my name is Reed Thompson and I'm the creator of the Parlor Reality Show. I am presently shooting a uh, pilot episode which will be used to uh, pitch and uh, hopefully sell to a cable network at some point. Late last year I got the idea that I, I wanted to create a, a reality show. So I called Scott and he was like, yeah, let's do it. You know, I got what you need, you know, is what he told me. You know, I'm, I'm just an individual. I'm not a production company. Uh, this has been completely self-funded. Um, you know, it, it's not cheap. And um, in order to be able to continue throughout the summer, I need more money. We're trying to raise $5,000, which uh, will go a long way. The Kickstarter way of doing things, it's a reward uh, incentive type deal. If you uh, were to contribute, um, say, $20, uh, you will receive uh, a digital download of the parlor. If you were to contribute $500, you, uh, Scott Diffie will uh, tattoo you or, or if you're not inclined to get a, uh, a tattoo then uh, I will show up at um, an event of your choice whether it's your uh, say your son's birthday party I I'll videotape it for you you know this is a big deal to me this is um, you know my almost 20 year career you know it pretty much comes to a head right now and culminates in what I'm trying to do with this project about me and my girl and our day-to-day -day things that we do in and out of the shop. All our customers, all our crazy employees. We've had an issue with our employees. I mean, it's not your work ethic, it's not your personal self, it's just, I think you'd be smarter to hang around with cooler cats than you hang out with. You're gonna be kicking bricks, son, here in a couple days, you're gonna get your shit straight. Dude, the box is in that closet. Anytime you're tired of it, fuck out of here. I don't give a fuck. He don't hide his fucking himself. If he don't agree with somebody, he'll fucking tell him. If anything messes up on this thing, you did it. So I want you to let them know right now. You're a fucking dick, really. Hey, what did I tell you about talking? I told you about talking, man. Like, real standoffish, real short with me, like real cocky. Get out of here with that shit, man. Fuck you, man. Is that good for you? Real street grade, low budget tattoo shop, but we have a lot of flavor and a lot of friends. Boy, who said you ain't got job training, son? We got skills. Man. I've been tattooing for a long time here in this town. My girl's been tattooing for a long time. Love you. Mm -hmm. You know, this is all for the camera, so it's not real. <laughs> uh, get that fucking thing out of here, man. Motherfuckers, what's going on? Everything that comes in that shop is real. Out of me, man. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, I might be. Yeah, I know you is. We're not setting it up. It ain't fake. It's streetwise, man. It's cool. It's rock and roll, man. It's got good people, <laughs> great customers. We got a crazy crew. You said hype the fucking show up on my Facebook, bitch. That's what I'm doing. Well, we all do rock and roll. I want to thank you for watching and I would like to encourage you to read on further below so that you can find out m more about the project and how you can uh, be a part of it all. We want to keep this thing alive so if you want to be a part of it man you want to help out man we got to reach that five thousand dollar limit in the 30 days when we get there man we're going to keep shooting this thing full on full throttle and hopefully you'll see it on TV.